Yes, and one in Baptist Hospital down in South Miami that opens in January. Oh, there you look go. At that. Uh -huh. So we have two. Yes, in we our do. Area. Uh -huh. it's a great yeah, state program. of the art. State of the art. Great program. Speaking of state of the art, our weather is state of the art right now. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. And it's going to stay state of the art really straight through the weekend. We have a little cool front coming now. Brace yourselves. Okay. Br one degree? Three. Oh, oh, right, right. So, Living on the edge yeah. now. You may want to move south <laughs> uh, because we're going to be 81, 82 degrees on Saturday and about 77. So actually it's 5 degrees. It's going to be a little on the chilly side, but not quite as we head into Sunday. All right, so that's something to look forward to. In the meantime, though, uh, we are looking at nice conditions tonight. Boca Raton at 75 degrees, mostly clear skies out there. Let's take you for a temperature tour, some other areas. 72 right now in Boynton Beach as we head a little further north. Loxahatchee here, 70. Close to the coast, we're still 76 in Juneau Beach. Across the, uh, the northern part of our area and the Treasure Coast at 68 right now in Vero Beach, 73. In Jensen Beach and in and around Lake O, we're 63 Indian Town and 59 degrees for you in Okeechobee. All right, so by morning, what can you expect? Well, actually, temperatures are barely going to go down. Maybe a couple more degrees along the coast. We'll get down to 71 in Lake Worth and Boca Raton. Inland area is a little cooler, 64 Jupiter Farms, about 70 in Palm Beach Gardens. And around the Treasure Coast will be as low as 59 in Okeechobee. 65 Vero and close to the water, about 71 in Stewart. This is actually the radar. It's not broken right now. There's just nothing on it. That's the way it's going to be tomorrow, although there could be a stray shower. So your hour-by-hour -hour forecast, mostly clear to partly cloudy. There may be a stray shower sometime in the next 12 to 24 hours, but there really aren't going to be that many showers. So rain chances less than 20%. That means for the most part you will be dry tomorrow with lots of sun. It's going to be warm, 80 to 82 uh, for a high temperature. So we'll split the difference there. 81 for a high tomorrow. If you're going to be shopping, uh, whatever you're going to be doing, it's actually going to be a very nice day. If you're headed to the beach, nice day, just a breeze, 10 to 15 miles an hour off the ocean. Nice and warm, and uh, it's going to be really good, really straight through the weekend, actually. So you can see um, partly sunny skies warm ahead of this front. The front's going to drop through Saturday night into Sunday. The winds will pick up. It'll become more breezy off the ocean. But really, it's going to be a north to northeast wind, which is a cooler wind, so a bit cooler with high temperatures instead of 80 to 82, about 77 on Sunday. And again, the breeze is going to pick up, which means uh, the boating's not going to be as good. And really, the beach, if you're headed to the beach over the next couple of days, it'll be okay tomorrow and Saturday. But then uh, conditions roll downhill here uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as the wind begins to crank up. In the tropics, earlier today, we had a 110-mile-an-hour storm. Hurricane Otto moved right on shore around Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Now it's turned into a tropical storm. It's weakened as it crossed over Central America. And it moves into the Pacific uh, during the day tomorrow. And as it does so it's likely to continue having its name Otto. So it's still going to be called Otto because it was able to uh, maintain its identity as it crossed over Central America. Mostly clear tonight, mainly dry, stays mild 68, and tomorrow lots of sun. Yeah, there may be a passing shower, but it's going to be a great day. Warm breeze, 82. Seven-day forecast now, where the weekend is always in view. Saturday, uh, warm day, 81. A cooler breeze, but not necessarily cool on Sunday, 77, 78. On Monday, we'll warm it up by Thursday with a chance of a few spotty showers along our next frontal system.